Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This reading can be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's jump into it and have a look and see when you'll be meeting your soulmate Virgo. Okay Virgo, when will you meet your soulmate Okay, let's start off with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is all about enlightenment, learning, realizations, epiphanies, understanding things in a different way than we previously had. The fact that the Four of Cups has come up here says to me that there is a strong possibility this person is going to come in very unexpectedly into your life while your focus is on other things. Perhaps career, self-growth, self-enlightenment, creative pursuits, adventure, health. I feel your attention is not going to be diverted towards finding love because A, your focus, your attention is taken elsewhere in your life or B, you might already be in a relationship here, Virgo. So for some of you, there's already someone connected to you romantically when this soulmate will enter your life. So that's why it supports the notion of not expecting this. It's going to take you by surprise. But the fact is, this is the tree of life, Virgo. And there is a strong possibility that this soulmate could be life-changing. But again, I'm not advocating cheating or deception. I'm just saying that there is a strong possibility that the soulmate could come in whilst you're in a relationship with another person. Because you're not going to see it. You're not going to acknowledge it. You might not even think of them in this way. Or maybe you've, you've, you're turning a blind eye to the connection and you're trying to convince yourself that it's just another person that you feel attracted to and there's nothing more than that. But the truth is, for a lot of you, this person is going to completely surprise you. Perhaps not your conventional type here, Virgo, so there's something about them that's going to be a little bit different. But like I said, your attention is going to be diverted elsewhere and it's sort of, it's either something you're least expecting or you never thought it would happen the way it will. But enjoy the surprise, I suppose, with the Four of Cups. Um, but it's also a card of analysis and reflection. So you might be reflecting on other areas of your life when this person comes in um, into your experience. You do have the Nine of Cups here, which is seen as the Wish card, the Dream card. So this person is definitely going to tick a lot of boxes um, for you. They're going to fulfill a lot of the things that you're looking for here, Virgo. Um, but look, the Nine of Cups can be seen as wish fulfillment or things coming into alignment in other areas of your life. So it's a very well composed energy. So for a lot of you, this soulmate is coming into your life at a period where everything is falling into place otherwise. Um, say, for example, your career is going great. You're feeling very settled with working hours. Um, you're on a roll with your creative pursuits. Uh, you're enjoying your social circle. You're, you have a zest for life. You're finding your passion again. You're finding momentum and direction and things are happening or unfolding. Um, things that you've been wanting, wishing or desiring have been unfolding in front of you. And it's almost like you're in a better position to attract even more and better things more and bigger and better things into your life as well so for a lot of you this person could be coming in at a period when you're ready you're absolutely ready virgo you'll be in a great state of mind you'll have a lot going for you wishes in other areas of your life are going to manifest and it's just going to seem more and more attainable or it could be that another big wish of yours is going to come true when this person comes into your life whatever that wish may be, winning the lottery, um, getting your dream job, finally reconnecting with the person, having that possession you've wanted for so long, fulfilling a childhood dream. Wishes and wants vary amongst all of us, so it really is uh, dependent on the wish here, but there's some sort of wish, or it's even that when they come into your life, they bring in another wish, another existence, uh, another wish fulfillment even. So say, for example, you're wanting to attract an agent for your script hypothetically and it could be that the agent turns out to be the soulmate all right so it's like a double wishes double whammy you've got the notion of the two two pentacles two twins with the lovers card as well so double whammy or two wishes come or tied into um, become tied into this soulmate somehow 
For some of you, you might be juggling quite a fair bit when this person comes into your life. There might be a long distance relationship you might be in. You might be in between two different locations for work, for pleasure, uh, to look after an ill relative. There might be a bit of back and forth around you. Now, the boat can symbolize adventure, travel, journey. So for some of you, you might be meeting through travels, through wanderlust, adventure, moving, relocating, living as an expat. For some of you, this person might be doing that, living as an expat, traveling, relocating, and is connected to you by these means. It could also be whilst you're adding another income stream into your life, balancing two relationships, balancing finances, balancing life, balancing travel arrangements. The boat can also be protection, okay? The boat can symbolize protection. So it might be that you're protecting something, protecting your interests, protecting your creative work, protecting your children, uh, protecting everything that you stand for, um, humanitarianism, philanthropy, charity, human rights, um, whatever it may be, it's the notion of protecting something. But definitely um, something about the two, there's a division here, or the notion of two choices, a lot of choices. What I want to mention is, is that you, this could be a soulmate that you've already had a relationship with because this is a second cycle. The infinity symbol with the double pentacles is another cycle. Round and round we go. So for some of you, this might be someone coming back in from your past that you hadn't su suspected was in fact soulmate. And they might be coming back into your life in the time of the lovers card, which is Gemini, May 21st to June 20th. That's when this person could be showing up in your life, Virgo. It might be someone under the sign of a Gemini, perhaps. But this is the angel, divine source, your spirit guides. Law of attraction, angels, bringing the two of you together, reiterating that this, in fact, is a soulmate. Now, if you're currently connected to someone, you might be receiving validation from the universe through dreams, symbols, synchronicities in the time of Gemini that the person you're with is, in fact, a soulmate lover. But like I said, there could be someone from the past coming back in for another cycle to embark on another attempt at a relationship, another attempt at a connection or reinitiate, pick up where you left off. Now, for some of you, this might be not someone that you've dated. It might be someone that you've crossed paths with, you worked with, but somehow you have made direct contact with this person. For others, I believe you're currently dating your soulmate, which is very, very exciting. Your wishes, your wants, your desires are fulfilled because the person that you're with is the person that you're currently destined to be with, to experience life with, to learn karmic lessons, to guide you, to inspire you, to ignite a passion in you. So this is very beautiful, but I think for a lot of you Virgos, you're either married to, committed, courting, dating, or currently have this person next to you. So that's very, very beautiful with the Lover's Card. The Lover's Card also rules communication. So it might be that this person comes into your life if you don't already have them. Um, it might be that this person comes into your life at a time when you're communicating your wants more clearly, when you're communicating your desires more clearly to yourself, where your relationships are improving with the key people in your life, be it family or friends. This is all about communication being a strong point in your life. Maybe communication in what you need, in what you want in the workplace. Maybe communication amongst family and friends and, and other key people in your life. Nonetheless, this person is coming in at a time when communication is open, it's clear, it's concise, it's direct, and it's effective. I will leave your reading at that though, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's given you a bit of insight. I guess a little food for thought here. Um, please remember it is a general reading uh, because there's so many Virgos watching. Uh, nonetheless, I do want to thank you. Uh, don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe if you've enjoyed this content.